Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia, here to do your love reading. I hope you're doing great, sending you much love and many blessings as usual, Scorpio. If you want a live tarot card reading uh, between now and the end of the month, you can call up as much as you want and uh, say things are heating up and you'll get your reading discounted. There are toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. A big shout out to the US, Canada, UK, India, all the countries that watch me. Um, thank you so much for all your love and your support. Um, if you are um, looking for a live tarot, not a live tarot card reading, a personal love reading with me, <laughs> you can book it through my website at www.heartpassiontarot.com. Go to products and tarot card readings. All right, Scorpio, you know I love you. You're my fam fam. All right, let's see what we've got. Um, I call upon my angels. I call upon the white light. I call upon the Holy Spirit to come into this reading for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Okay. You're feeling very emotional today. I feel. Maybe because things are in a, um, you know, a holding position right now. For Scorpio. For Scorpio when it comes to love, what do we have? For Scorpio. Poor Scorpio, when it comes to love, dear angels. Oh, cards down. <laughs> I'm going. Scorpio, you, you you always do that sometimes. Okay. Hold on. Let me see where the cards are. The cards down. There's only one. I felt like it was more than one. Maybe not. Maybe it was just one. Okay, and there's some on the table, too. All right. Well, we have enough cards for our uh, reading here. All right, so signs I'm seeing are Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, of course you, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. A lot of emotion here, a lot of passion here. In the recent past, we see that there's been some kind of heartache here. Maybe it's heartache, maybe it's uh, distance when it comes to... Um, your Ten of Cups, your happiness. Here. Okay. I feel you really love your Empress. And your Empress loves you. This person has nothing but love for you. Now flip the genders if you need to, right? The Three of Swords, please. The Three of Swords. Okay, but there's some fear here, I feel. Or there was fear, maybe of commitment, maybe of falling in love, right? All right, so let's, let's clarify the next card. We have the Six of Pentacles in the now. Let's focus on the now. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Scorpio? I hope you watch what I need to tell you today for Scorpio. It was pretty emotional. Okay, so it looks like somebody's making the decision to come back, okay? And it's unknown to this King of Pentacles, okay? Something is telling them that you will be returning here. There's been some kind of tug of war or disagreement between you and your person here, I'm feeling, okay? I feel here with the Ten of Pent I mean, ten of Swords, there's some kind of feeling of betrayal or hurt or pain or letting go of all those times that maybe you or them was betrayed, hurt, stabbed in the back right 
and, and I feel communication is coming. Somebody's been watching the other one. Okay, from a distance. In the hidden position, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Scorpio? So we see abundance, we see stability, maybe even moving in with somebody. Yeah. Temperance is here. It's having patience, divine timing. The King of Cups is here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel you are trying to get everything lined up first, Scorpio. And in the meanwhile, your person's been waiting for you to do so. It's, it's been difficult. It's been difficult for you to harvest. It's been difficult for you to harvest. It's been a lot of work. It's been a heavy load on you, Scorpio. But I feel deep down in your heart, you really want to be with your person. And they want to be with you. It's, oh, you know, Scorpio, it's you. You're letting go. You're letting go of the Ten of Wands. You're letting go of the Ten of Swords. I've got more cards on the floor. You're showing great strength to have this reconciliation with your Queen of Cups. Wow. The truth is going to be spoken. All right. Let's see. This is good. I like this reading. Okay. So what's this about? Wow, okay. So maybe there was a choice to be made here. Okay. Maybe about a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I want to know why the world is here. Is it over, or are you starting a new chapter with an air sign? So why is the world here? Let's clarify it for Scorpio, please. Okay. So something came to an end. You left somebody out in the cold here, this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, so that you can have a brand new beginning. Okay. And then you're taking fast action towards the person that you love. All right. Let's go to the Ace of Cups in the near future. Looks like there's a proposal of love here, Scorpio. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups? I feel, Scorpio, you are cutting out whatever is toxic. Yeah, you see, again, this cake of swords. There's been an ending here. There's been an ending here. And you're moving forward. So it looks like with this ending, there's a brand new beginning. So there was an ending and somebody was left out in the cold or felt left out in the cold when it came to starting this new chapter in the two of your lives, maybe because you didn't come right away um, to be with them. And then I'm seeing travel towards this queen of swords now. Sometimes I have to read it a little bit differently. This queen of swords has protected her heart. There are people coming towards her that want to be with her. She won't let anybody in. She's focused on her work. And she's single. She has fought her battles and um, she's free to go. She's free to go. The Emperor is here with justice. So she's free. Free from all the pain, free from betrayals, all her battles. She's done. She's free now to live her life. For your person, the Eight of Swords. I mean, for you, the Eight of Swords. You're overthinking something a lot. What is it that you're overthinking? Hmm. This Queen of Wands. I feel we're dealing with an emperor and an empress, folks. Yeah. 
You may feel this person has a lot of options. They can manifest whatever they want here. She's the queen of pentacles as well. Okay. She's been patiently waiting for you, though. She has been. And it's become an emotional burden for her now. But she will find the strength to have this new beginning. And who's this new beginning with? It's very exciting. Hmm. With her king of swords. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, someone's coming right towards her to make an offer here, and there's reconciliation with the Queen of Cups, with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So we know that after whatever this heartache and pain is, it's going to be right again. There will be a victory. So why do we have the Two of Wands for your person? They clearly know what they want. What is this decision they're making? Okay. Now this could be you. To fight their battles, whatever those battles are. And to be free to go. To heal and to go. Feel somebody will be offering an apology, okay? Somebody who may be a little younger, who wants commitment with the Empress. She just showed up here. This Empress is very spiritual. Very spiritual. There's a lot of sleepless nights here. Now I gotta read this a little bit differently. For those of you that are married, you may be thinking to be with somebody else and you're having sleepless nights over this Queen of Wands. But I see there's going to be action taken. Look, the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody manifested this. Or your person manifested it. Okay. You may not know it, Scorpio, or maybe this is you. You're battling it out. You're healing right now. And then you're going to go towards your... Um, you may be healing from a situation and going towards the person that you really want to be with. The Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Temperance. The Star. Wow. Somebody is patiently waiting for divine timing to receive their wish here. And it's your king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, who right now is releasing all the betrayal and pain from family, from friends, from lovers, from everything that has ever hurt them badly. Okay? And you, if you're the emperor, They've been spying on you, or you've been spying on them. And somebody is patiently waiting um, to take action. But it's going to go really slow. Really slow towards you, Scorpio. You're going to go really towards somebody. Okay? And maybe um, you're going really slow because, Scorpio, you're all up in your head about this person. I see when the two of you are together, you are a power couple. You will be.
Yeah. I mean, Scorpio, this is the second time I've seen you where you've been, you're dropping those Ten of Wands. You are. And you don't care who likes it and who doesn't like it. Some of you could be dealing with a mother or two or a mother-in-law who's giving you a hard time. I see you sending a message or offering some kind of reconciliation to this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who's abundant. Somebody who has something to offer. Somebody who really works hard for their money. I see a new beginning. I see, um, I see somebody coming back. I see healing. You know, this is usually somebody walking away. This person's returning back. They're returning back. There's a brand new beginning here. And it happens fast after things have been stuck for a long time with this Queen of Wands. And I have the King of Wands up here too, right? Look, it's been a long time. Look, again, I have a couple. So let's see what this King of Wands is about. And here you are, right next to that Queen of Wands. So the King of Wands, I'm telling you, you guys are empresses and emperors. That's why you're showing up as all these different energies, which is great. That means you guys have, like, graduated, right? So this king of wands stuck up for himself, spoke his truth, and now he's, you know, everybody's walked away. And he's healing. He wants to heal this relationship with his independent Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn. Yes. You've been spying on this woman. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of communication and fast action happening here now. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Yes, you want to speak your truth. You want to tell this person how you truly feel. Wow. Action, action, action. There could be travel too. This person lives at a distance from you. Someone's coming back. Someone's coming back. Why? Why are they coming back? Because they want to they wanna court you. <laughs> you want to court Virgo? Taurus or Capricorn? Is that what it is? Wow. Again, you guys are a couple. Okay. Something may have ended here. Or seem like it came to an ending. We go from the 10 to the 8. Okay? But here you are, Scorpio, with the tower. With this tower. You get woken up. You get woken up. And you know who the one is. And you make that decision to have that new beginning. Okay? Yeah. There's been disappointment, though, but there's two cups standing. And you're going to have this victory here. Hmm. <laughs> looks like commitment. It looks like the lovers. It looks like the sun. Wow. So someone's coming back. What a beautiful reading, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Wow. Love does truly exist. Love and kisses. Bye.